Hi Virgo and welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for March 2021. My name is Julia, thank you for tuning in and I have just started to do the Zodiac readings for you with the Lenormand uh, or Lenormand um, for you guys and this is what you can see here already. This is also the cover. So for the cover of this uh, this video I've taken a picture of this reading. Uh, so yeah, there you can see all of your cards and uh, yes what I want to do is start with the little readings. Um, though this is actually a quite large reading, you can have a look into every area of uh, your life. So there are aspects that are work related, relationship related, etc. And so large, this Lenormand technique. Uh, but I want to focus on your love life and your relationship life now and just see what the uh, the energies are around those, um, those topics. And um, yeah, there is always a card that represents you. And since there are mostly women on this channel, I will uh, have the woman, the lady as your card, no matter of your gender. Um, when I refer to the male, which I will because it's a male person, it's a gentleman here, so I know I will fall into the roles of the gender, but you can just swap this. The only thing you need to know is that this lady is you, no matter of your gender, and the other person, which I probably will refer, as I've said, as the male person to, is your love interest, could be an ex-partner, could be a future partner, whoever. Um, so yeah, let's just see what we got for you here. Um, okay, where do we start? It's so large. I would say we're going to start with you. You are in the house of the mice. So if you ever had a mouse or maybe even several mice in your flat or your house, you know what it means. It's very, oh, there it is. I just checked where they are. So if you have a mouse in your house, which I have a cat. So <laughs> incidentally, a couple of weeks ago, I was super busy with like getting the mouse out of the flat. And you just worry all the time. It's like, oh my God, is everything safe? Are they nagging on something? Do they uh, eat the bread? Uh, everything is everything clear and clean? And you just worry really a lot. It's really interesting. I can just recommend if you want to learn the little more to really go into the cards and just get a cat and get a, uh, a mouse in. And then you definitely will know the meaning of the mice. So, but... Um, getting a little bit more serious again. There is something nagging on you, I feel like. There might be some news coming in that are worrying, some sort of movement. Uh, there might be a loss of movement or, no, I do feel more it's like there is some, something that is worrying you. Um, also, I see in your house, there is the, the conflict energy. So worry and conflict is something that I see here related immediately to you. The conflict could relate um, to, let me see, to a friend, um, could relate to a male person, to the male person, that there's some sort of conflict. I do feel this other person, though, is in your house. So there seems to be someone in your private life. But the interesting thing is that you are thinking about the house, your private life, and a decision. And this decision refers to a connection or a relationship. Now that's interesting, isn't it? So you see how everything is really connected here. You are looking onto the mountain, so you are facing an issue, you're facing a blockage or a challenge. And this challenge, in fact, is in your love life. So that's in your house of love. Going now to the card of uh, love, the bitch is here, the, uh, the, ha the heart. Um, having a look, what are the cards around this card? Hmm. I have to say it might be that something were brought up. Okay, let me just see. It might be that something is being brought up that includes another person here, I have to say, because we have the book here. The book is for something that is hidden or knowledge that was hidden. Uh, we do have the emotions here, the psyche, emotions, subconscious, or with the moon, also some sort of hidden energy. Um, and we do have the park. So park in the house of the book, something that was hidden uh, now is being revealed related to the snake and the snake can stand either and it doesn't have to be another woman but it could be another woman something that was hidden or some sort of complications that were actually karmic wow okay 
that's a big one here so there is a karmic situation if this is not not another woman it could stand for something that is about to heal or some sort of healing that needs to take place which might refer to the subconscious the psyche um, it could simply be other sorts of complications and delays something that was hidden now being brought to life it is like a burden this karmic situation is draining it's a lesson it's draining there might be something related to some sort of ending so the karma the destiny of a situation might be to end something here i'm gonna have a look further into this um with the book next to the snake and the book is also in the house of the male person oh my god what's going on here and the book is the book is related to the male person in two aspects. I can mirror the book onto it and the book is in the house of the male person. So it seems like something was hidden, some sort of knowledge. We have the we have the clouds here. So the clouds are something being unclear. Maybe someone even trying to cover up something. And we do have the conflict that falls on your house. And now I see the conflict with the dog. Dog stands, yes, for a friend, but also for trust, for loyalty. And it seems like... Oh, I almost feel like I'm getting like a little bit of a heartbeat here. Like trust, there is a conflict with trust and trust have been has been destroyed. Maybe not completely, but there is a karmic situa situation in this connection or relationship that is based, where is, there is a massive karmic lesson related to loyalty and trust. And I do feel like there's some sort of influence and you are thinking about a decision, but this decision then again is related to this snake. So the decision is related to another person who might be involved in this situation uh, or to the, compl <clears throat> sorry, the complications that were here in this uh, situation as well. Wow, what's going on for you guys? That's like, so far I've just started with the earth signs. And I do see some similarities, which is always uh, the case with the specific elements. So it's not unusual that you have certain things that are a little bit similar when it comes to the earth signs, the fire signs, etc. But this is the most intense reading so far. Um, we do have the decision based or related to the um, to the relationship. There is again this relationship is karmic there's a karmic lesson there's a destiny energy some sort of um <clears throat> so sorry there is something wrong there's something not quite right in this connection um and that thing that is not quite right is causing the conflict and it might be that it is causing also some sort of ending or something that needs to be let go of <clears throat> there is a solution and, and there's very certainly that there's a new beginning coming something new is coming new stability is coming i feel like <clears throat> and also with the star here star next to the ring we do have uh, again the destiny energy so i feel like this situation that you are in no matter if it is with another woman or another person or if it's other complications that are playing a part here which could also be complications related to family matters that could be the case or again another person which then could in this case also be another male person here because there's an, another aspect i do feel like there is something changing there is a there's a big change coming here and that's also very destined and i do see in the house of your relationship we have the tower and the tower stands for boundaries for withdrawing or a separation or a divorce so these are topics that I see, maybe maybe it's just and simply about setting healthy boundaries here. That could be a lesson for you. Um, but also I feel like for some of, for, for, for quite a lot of you, it feels like this is about withdrawing, separating or a divorce that is happening. Maybe something that you already have worked through, but it's still a part now in March. Um, and that's still a little bit part of the blocked energy where I feel like if you are single now, I feel like you are not yet ready to meet someone else because there is a lot 
of uh, baggage um, that is blocking your heart and that needs to be let go of that needs to be transformed if you are still in a connection with someone no matter if you are in a committed relationship or in whatever connection you are with this person i do feel like it might be time to set healthy boundaries and that could lead to to a positive change but i also feel like there's a very karmic situation uh, and these situations are always there for us to grow so there is absolutely a big potential for you to grow in this time here um, but it comes with with a bit of work that you need to put in and i do feel like something that plays a part is a trust issue here i feel like trust um, maybe you are cautious, maybe your trust has been broken, which could be related again to another person, could also be because there was something hidden. Maybe this person you were dealing with was hiding something of you, um, which I do get here like one, two, three times. I do get this three times here that this person might have been hiding something from you. This doesn't need to be another woman, but it could, uh, could also indicate others, other complications. And, <clears throat> oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't really talk right now for you guys. And you know what? The snake stands for complication is in the house of, of the uh, communication of the, um, of the, of, oh, what's the name? Letter, that's the name. So that's really interesting because I feel like with you guys, I can't really speak. There's something in my throat and there are complications when it comes to com communication. So it seems like the communication between you guys is a bit difficult because for some aspect, I feel like you're not trusting the situation. Um, maybe there's a distance between you, which could be physically, could be emotionally or mentally. Uh, there is nervousness and stress when it comes to this situation and also like I've said it seems like communication is a bit difficult but I do feel also about you're going to talk about these complications and that's going to be a key for a new beginning for you. This person definitely has a big influence on you. It is so destined. I can't even tell you how much with those cards that are around the star, the cross, the bear. Bear has a strong influence in combination with the cross. It's like this magnetic force. So I do feel like you have a strong karmic lesson here, which doesn't, which doesn't, uh, uh, which doesn't mean that it's just karma and not love or anything. I do see the love far away and wrapped around um, situations that are causing this conflict here. Um, but I absolutely do see that there is a strong energy in your life that is causing lessons for you to grow. And you are thinking about, you, you are aware of this and you're thinking about the, um, a decision related to that. Maybe you're even thinking about moving houses here. That could be something as well. And also, I feel like this, this whole situation here, it seems like some connection is really um, testing you. It's really challenging. And because of, the, um, because of this distrust that is here and something that needs to be let go of to get more, there might be something that is going to be let go of really short, like really fast, quick or suddenly. And it might be if you are already separated from this person that you suddenly feel oh wow, now I feel a little bit more light again. Now it feels a little bit more easy again. So I do also feel like there is a little bit of lightness coming you. Maybe this is also related to you moving, if that is something you're thinking about, which I do have twice here. That could be, that could be the decision because what we do have around the house is uh, two cards that stand for moving and one card that stands for a decision. So there might be a decision related to where you live. Maybe you want to move. All right, I do feel like I have said everything now that is uh, being that is uh, important for you. Um, let me just check because I want to see because you are focused on this blockage and the challenge, and I want to get a little bit more information about that. It does feel like you're gonna let go of something um, that is related to this blockage, and also there is uh, in the house of the blockage is the star. So maybe you feel even. I do feel like 
um, there is some progress being blocked because you need to make a specific move or a specific step which could be externally but it could also be internally um, and then I feel like things are moving forward again wow all right i hope this resonates with you if so leave a like or a comment or subscribe to my channel i just like how this sounds in english uh it doesn't sound as good as uh it does uh, it doesn't sound as good in german as it does in english anyway i hope you enjoyed this reading and resonated with it if so um I would really like to get your feedback on it if you would like to see those readings again more often here on this channel. Sending you so much love from Avalon and see you next time.